Good morning, students. We are starting uh, second part of chapter three, that is SQL overview. So, in SQL overview, we will see a little bit history about what SQL is. IBM developed the original version of SQL uh, at San Jose Research Lab. Now, this lab is called as Alma Den Research Center. Uh, IBM implemented the language originally called as SQL as a part of the system R project in the early 1970s. Now the SQL language has evolved since then and its name has changed to SQL. So SQL became structured query language that we call it as SQL. Some people call this as SQL also. So many products are now support the SQL language. After that in 1986, ANSI that is American National Standards Institute and the International Organization for Standard, Standardization, that is ISO, published an SQL standard called as SQL 86. SQL 86 for 1986 year. After that, IBM published its own corporate SQL standard, the System Application Architecture Database Interface, that is SAA SQL in 1987. Again, after that, ANSI published an extended standard for SQL, that is SQL 89 in 1989. And next version of the standard version was SQL 92 standard and the most recent version is SQL 1999. So this is what uh, overview, this is what the history about SQL. So SQL after that named as SQL, that's why uh, you must know what is meant by SQL, that is structured query language. After that, this is the last point in this video, that is the SQL language has several parts like DDL, then DML, after that SQL DDL, after that transaction control, after that embedded SQL and dynamic SQL, then integrity and authorization. So let us see one by one what is this. So data definition language, DDL, we have seen this, what is mean by DDL in the first chapter itself. The SQL structured query language DDL provides commands for defining relation schemas, deleting relation and modifying relation schemas. This this uh, DDL language is must for the database. After that, interactive data manipulation language that is DML. The SQL DML includes a query language based on both the relational algebra and the tuple relational calculus. It includes also commands to insert tuples into, delete tuples from, and modify tuples in the database. So all the uh, queries which are related to the data manipulation are nothing but data manipulation language. So this is called as DML. So DDL stands for the table definition and the relations, handling of relations. Whereas DML deals with all the data from the table. After the view definition, the SQL DDL includes commands for defining views. Views means from database, what is to be viewed. Now here, you must know that we can view the account balance by clicking on check balance at the ATM center. So that is view definition. What you want depending on that view definition is done. Whenever you click on mini statement, there will be particular query behind that mini statement button and that query will fire, uh, that query will be fired to the database and you will get the uh, last five transactions that is mini statement. After that, embedded SQL and dynamic SQL. So embedded and dynamic SQL define how SQL statements can be embedded within general purpose programming languages like C, C++, Java, PL1, COBOL, Pascal and Fortran. So this is very much important. Embedded and dynamic SQL. After that integrity. The SQL DDL includes commands for specifying integrity constraints that the data stored in the database must satisfy. Updates that violate integrity constraints are disallowed. That means some, some integrity constraint is required whenever we are accepting mobile number for any entry in the database tuple, we must define that integrity of that mobile number. It must be a 10 digit number. Even if it is nine digit or 11 digit, it must be disallowed. That means it, not, it must not be accepted. Last is authorization. The SQL DDL includes commands for specifying access rights relations and views. So this authorization is very much important. Let us come to the example of banking. In banking, manager can view everything because he has rights to access everything. 
whereas the person who is a uh, cashier is having only view of uh, the amount present amount available uh, at that particular account number so he is just looking for the account account number and account balance he is not at all worried about your mobile number address and everything whereas the person who is updating your information that particular person will see that uh, uh, details only he will not he or she will not be able to see the account balance in this way the sql language uh, is having different parts that we have just discussed right now so concluding remark that just we have seen sql overview what exactly sql is and why we are using sql in the history of sql the slide credit goes to the authors of the database system concept fourth edition book happy learning do subscribe the channel to get the notifications of new videos